Zoop. Today, we're looking at a sweet real link with two lenses. That's right, two lenses. One to see near and one to see far away. There's also infrared and LED lights. Here's a comparison to a regular 17 ounce water bottle. As you can see, they're almost identical in diameter and length. In the back, there's a slot for micro SD card. I don't know why you would use that because we're using it with an NVR. There's audio out as well as audio in, so you can hear as well as talk to the person outside. There's three wires coming out from the back. There's the uh, Ethernet, the uh, reset button, and 12 volts in case you want to power using 12 volt adapter. Now let's set up the device using the RealLink app. Right now the camera is directly connected to a local network switch. It is actually not connected to the NVR yet. Go ahead and download the RealLink app. And as you can see, the RealLink app recognizes the camera instantly. Click on the gear icon and it will ask you for a password. Go ahead and enter the password one more time. You can name it whatever you want. Click on finish. Right away you can see there's two streams coming from the camera. One is the Y view and one is the zoom in view. Just like any other real link, you can enable the audio to listen in. So go ahead and go into the settings. Go down to advance, record audio and tap on it to enable recording audio. Once you enable audio, you can listen in. If you want to talk, go ahead and enable the talk and start talking. On the right hand side, click on volume and it will let you adjust the volume output. And that's pretty much it. The app is very easy to use. Here's the same scene, so you can see the performance at night. By default, it's using the infrared, so that's why it's black and white. But as soon as it detected movement or person, then the LED will be lit up so that you can see everything in color. Before we integrate this into Home Assistant, we need to check out the IP address of this camera. So go ahead and go back into the settings again, click on the camera. Go down to Network Information, and here you can see the IP address, 192.168.1.37. To change it into a static IP address, I'm going to go into my router. My router of choice is the PFSense. Click on the plus icon. In IP address, I'm going to give it a number, 192.168.1.114. The host name can be whatever. Once you're done, once you're satisfied with the name, go ahead and click on Save. Next up, we're going to integrate this into Home Assistant. So go down in Settings, go over to Integrations, click on Add Integration, and search for Real Link. Enter your username, which is admin. Enter the password, which is the password that you set when you first connected it. The host will be the IP address of the camera, which is 192.168.1.114. For whatever reason, it failed. So just re-enter everything again. Click on Submit again. All right, you can assign an area if you want, and then click on Finish. When you click on the device, you'll see a bunch of entities right here. It is so nice to have the AI integrated into the camera itself. This way, you don't need something fancy like the, uh, I don't know, the Coral, because that chip is sold out everywhere. Looking at the entities, you can see that almost everything got integrated. The motion, the person, the pet, which I don't have, so I can't verify that, and even the vehicle. Unfortunately, there's no way to control the LED lights. In the Real Link app, I have that to be set as automatic, meaning whenever there's motion or people, the LED light will automatically turn on. Let's see how well it performs with the person detection. Here's my son running around again, so you can see whether it's activating or not. There you go. So it takes about one or two seconds for it to detect a person is there or not. Pretty cool. Next up, we're going to integrate this into my Amcrest NVR. That's right, I said it, Amcrest NVR. 
So even though this is a real link camera, it outputs RTSP. And RTSP is an open standard that any NVR can read. I'm going to go ahead and click on camera. If I click on device search, you can see that it found the camera instantly. That's the camera that we saw earlier, which is the 114 IP address. Go ahead and click on the pencil icon to edit it. The username is the admin and the password is the same password that you set up. Click on save. I noticed that with MQuest NVR, you have to do it again the second time for it to work. So here we're doing it the second time again. And now it's screen working very good. Let's go back to live view. And FYI, the NVR can only see one stream at a time. So I think this is the one for Y. And if you want to see the zoom in version, this is the format for it, O2 instead of O1. So the whole format is RTSP, your username, your password, the IP address, and whatever stream that you want to see. All right, hopefully you found this video and guide helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.